Greetings, my fellow coastal fishermen, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to They Are Billions, Episode 8, Coast of Bones. Alright, we are getting the Western Wall built. Gotcha. So I'll put one more tower over there once I have the money, and one more archer over there, and West is secured-ish. Ish. It's not a lot of defenses in that spot, but enough that it will probably repel the the random wanderer. And then we'll work on the east next. Is there a gap? Uh, no. There's no gap. If you're thinking there's a gap here, this is um, impassable. And that's impassable. I'm. That is not my weak point in the game. Like, I'm pretty good about not having gaps. I'm pretty bad about a lot of other things. But gaps, I'm good about patching. Usually. I don't have Hunter's Cottages yet. No. Uh, that I was going to work in now. I wasn't bottlenecking for food uh, up until right now. Well, I'm still not, actually. I'm lacking space more than food. Attention. Building completed. The train has arrived at the station. Attention. Building completed. All right. So let's get an eastern defense going and roll out more rangers. Better be good. Yeah. So tired. Last night was amazing. Attention. Building completed. I need another Tesla tower to really push it out. There's also stone here, which I might want to push all the way out to. Oh, soldier in trouble. Okay, that's a pretty good in indicator that I need another patroller up that way. So I'm gonna move this one up there. There's no room for error up in this spot here because this is su such a vulnerable spot considering it's just like tents out in the open. So uh, reinforce it. Yeah, I'll probably want to push to these stone, uh, so I have a second income of stone. This doesn't look like I'm going to get much stone. I might, there might be stone where this windmill is, I'm not sure. I'll go check. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to capitalize on this here. So I'll have these three start to kill that way. Nope, there's no stone back there. Good to know. There is a, a stack of wood, but I'm full up on wood at the moment, so I don't want to pick it up because it will just get wasted. They are trying to break through. They Attention. Building completed. Our defenses are being attacked. I'm going to use some wood uh, so that I have more inventory space. So I'll just build some mills, and then... They are attacking the colony defenses. Yeah, west is fine. We're repairing it up. What's up? No, don't pick that up. Once I pick it up, like... Because I don't have a market. Once you have a market, you any excess resources are sold. But if you don't have a market, excess resources are just wasted. So I really don't want to pick that up because it just... Uh, it gets just essentially destroyed. And this flat section here looks like a good... Uh, a good pl a good place to put my walls. If I can fight all the way out there. Building our soldiers are in trouble. What do you want now? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. There's a free access issue here. Oops. Uh... Okay, I'll just have another new row. Although, you know, this is probably where I'm going to put a market. Oops, don't, no, no, don't delete all the houses. Just this one. So I'm planning to try to put my market, uh, maybe here. So I will build with that in mind. Yeah. A new task. Gotcha. There's also like a hole in the earth there, so there's some terrain blockers to be aware of. My bow and arrows are Our forces are in danger. What? Great. Okay. Uh, my archers out yonder are getting beat up, but they're putting in very good work. So once I clear out this little nugget of uh, zombies there, we'll uh, we'll be able to secure the east and have a lot of space for expansion. And I can already see a VOD, a village of doom up that way. So I gotta be careful going that way because it will be, uh, I'll meet a lot of resistance. Which means my market's going to be ridiculously close to the Village of Doom, but uh, with a few choice walls, I'll be okay. Especially if uh, I ever get it nice and secured. Units under attack. Don't like that noise. Oh, they're okay. Alright, any future units, I'm going to reinforce the north boundary, because the north boundary is really ridiculously uh, vulnerable at the moment. And let's start with Le Wall. Right, bud? You want a treat? The one thing I need to make sure is to not actually shoot that Dwelling of Doom, because I don't want... I don't want the Dwelling of Doom to spill out a whole bunch of zombies, because those zombies will then flood, knock out my tents, and I'll lose. So it's very important to leave the Village of Doom, or the Dwellings of Doom, like, completely untouched and alone. Because any damage to it will spawn a whole bunch of stuff I probably don't want to have to deal with. Oh, the zombies are too close. Die. You are gonna pay me for this, right? What? Alright, so we have three towers. I'll leave three rangers behind and reallocate my rangers up there. So this next part's going to be a little sketchy, okay. because I yes. need to continue expanding my population, ideally. But then, of course, I have this, like, Village of Doom just kind of, like, looming in my own front yard that I'll have to contend with. So, it's a bit of a juggling act of, like, expanding, but not also blowing up. Oh, that's where I wanted the, the, the market. Um, for now, what I think I might do, because food isn't my bottleneck... The market allows you to more efficiently, oops, more efficiently feed villagers, but because food isn't my bottleneck, at least for now, I will build houses elsewhere, knowing that these tents might get knocked down later on, um, and move to where that village is. The train has arrived at the station. My bow and arrows are ready. Attention. Building completed. Right, let's get another quarry. I might not want to build a quarry, well... Right where the wood is? That's a little awkward. Uh... And I need a little bit more money for the wood workshop, but I'll save up for it. And I see that there's stone here too, I just don't have space in my inventory for it. Cheers. My bow and arrows are completed. The walls are under attack. Come on. 
There we go. All right, so here's the wood workshop. Uh, I'm going to put it out of the way. The objective for this scenario is destroy all infected, uh, have a colony population of 800, and resist the swarms. The next swarm comes at day 18. It's day 9. So I got a little bit of time on that. I'm gonna take one of these archers. As long as you pay me. Roger that. Okay, that's not so bad. Yes. I just want to see like if there was like hordes, just like a, a stone's throw away, I'd be really screwed. But it's it's not on a reasonable amount of zombies up there. Attention. Building completed. Now with that said, um, if I do mess with this Dwelling of Doom, I'm probably going to want a wall around what I currently own. Because without a wall, it wouldn't take much to just, okay. like, push past my current defenses and, and get wiped. So let's keep training rangers. Be very close not to... Very careful, rather, not to shoot that thing. And, like, clear... Carefully clear around it to try to make as much space as possible. Yeah before sure. meeting too much resistance. Gotcha. You again. Whatever you say, as long as you Attention. Building. Work workshop's done. So I'm gonna get a market. One. Roger that. Are you sure? My yes. bow and arrows are ready. Okay. Great. Oh, more orders. Yes. What? Okay. I've got a whole bunch of patrol units, so any archers that I add can be part of like the uh, excursion scout group. Are you sure? Which wouldn't be too unreasonable. And I'll start building a temporary wall to protect, um, uh, to protect my colony what? from the village of doom when I when I start what firing on it, as long as you pay me. knowing that like it's it's temporary and I'm gonna be tearing it down, so I'm not gonna bother with any um, towers. Put a gate. So just really enough to protect the tents, and nothing more. So now I just want to amass my rangers so that I have enough rangers to, uh, enough rangers to take on the dwelling, clear the dwelling, and um, and then uh, be able to keep continue expanding. And this is a terrain blocker here, so you can't walk past this. It's a little like rift in the in the ground. You are gonna pay me for this, right? So it looks what? like I'm not yes. protecting my uh, you are gonna pay me for this, right? my perimeter, right. but I am. The market is done, and with a little bit more gold, I'll be able to plop a market down here. This better be good. My bow and arrows what do you are ready now. Oh, more orders. What? I'm gonna mess up all of my rangers. I have twelve up there. So once I get, I don't know, like, let's say 20 rangers, I will try to pop that dwelling and and roll it. But I need 200 colonists for the market. That means I need just, like, literally one more house. And I'll hit the 200 uh, pop requirement. And then let's get uh, mills as well, because I know markets and power kind of go hand in hand. So, so far, so good. West is secured, east is secured. There's still some resource crates that I can grab once I have a market down. And my rangers are adding to their pop, ready to 
clear more of the map for space. Attention. Building completed. Here comes the train for our 200th colonist. The train has arrived at the station. And you can see the radius of the market. Um, this is the radius that it serves. So I actually want to put my market... Uh, right there. So as you can see, the houses north of the rail tracks all fall within the market's radius. And the benefit of the market is it lowers the, uh, the food cost of the houses around it. And then it also can buy and sell resources. So any resources that I go past my cap uh, will automatically get uh, get sold on the market. There is a maximum capacity for selling, so your market can only handle a finite amount of resources sold past cap. So it's not so much a viable strat to just have like a bajillion sawmills to make gold, uh, because at some point you hit um, max. But uh, but it does help, you know, if if you're just a little bit over. Oh, speaking of which, I did mean to get another stone. No, I'm just kidding. Gotcha. Whatever you say, as long as you pay me. All right. Just to make sure that this doesn't go wildly wrong, I am gonna wall around that market. It's where I want it, but I. I don't want it to fall victim. Uh, and then as soon as I, I got that done, as soon as I have that done, I will uh, send in an intrusion force to try to get that bot. And then once it's all clear, I can then start branching out and, and building houses out there that are all fed by markets. So as you can see here, uh, well, in a second, once the market's done. So these houses only require three food. The houses outside require four food. So it lowers the cost by 25%. Which adds up. Building completed. You are gonna pay me for this, right? I hope well, let's do it. My time. Shouldn't be that hard. I probably didn't need to wait this much long. It's just overabundance oh, of caution so I don't fail. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. My bow and arrows are ready. Are you sure? Okay. The train has arrived sure? at the station. This better be good. Now with this attack force, I can start clearing out around the market uh, to allow for houses. And then also I can unlock uh, cottages and Great Ballista. So the first one I'm going to do is Great Ballista. Great Ballista is going to really help me against, um, against timed swarms, as they're very effective killing swarms. And then after that I'll get cottages as well. So now that I have that built, the other thing I could do is to start uh, just shoving houses around this market as much as I could fit that fall within the radius of the market, uh, prioritizing houses within this blue square. Oh, I think I lost a troop. Uh, prioritizing houses around this blue square more than anywhere else because they're cheaper to maintain. So if I'm rolling out cottages, I'm only going to put cottages within this sphere of influence here. Building completed. Uh, we don't yet have farms research, no. Yeah. Are you sure? Currently we're getting a uh, great ballista. I still have 52 food, so it's not like food is immediately my bottleneck. I mean, it, I, I realize and account for it will be at some point, but it isn't now, so I'll worry about it later. And looking, it looks like this spot here wouldn't... This spot here wouldn't be a bad spot for farming. It's uh, fertile. And yes, you're looking at an empty dog bed. He's uh, outside pottying. Roger that. Attention. Building completed. What? Yeah. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out where my next bottlenecks are. Um, 
You are going to pay me for this, right? Because when I expand beyond the region that the market's covering, what? I'm going to want to expand out to the next right. bottleneck so that it's defensible. Because, gotcha. like, wide open areas yes, of the map are just hard to, to defend. Attention. Building completed. Better be good. Technology research finished. Got the ballista. So let's get farms. Okay, let's do this. Oh good, there's right mountains here. Yeah. Roger that. You order? Is it fully enclosed? Nope, there's a gap. Okay, so I'll have to I'll have to plug this hole here yes, with the uh, towers or walls or whatever. Yes. Both. And this is probably gonna be an attack point. So generally, when you get attacked by swarms, it's either north, south, east, west. It can be variable, but um, this spot here is very likely to be attacked. What do you want now? I think. They are trying to break through. This better be good. If I was to guess. Attention, building completed. Our defenses are being attacked. Great. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Gotcha. Whatever you say, as long as you pay me. For a second, you thought I didn't research farm on the tech tree? Yeah, 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 I have it unlockable. This this map would be damn near impossible without farming, because there's oh, only small pockets of farmable okay. land. I'd have to retire otherwise. What's up? Any infected around? I, I know. I'm I've played sure. enough to know gotcha. how important farming is. Yeah. Farming, stone walls, ballistas. The meta. Now, I know I'm not really guarding this area here. Oh, also, let's keep rolling out the rangers. Go, go, power rangers. I'm going to leave a few of these rangers down at the southern wall while I build that last uh, Tesla coil. And then I'm going to leave okay. two over here to yes. guard this one. This be but good. soon we'll have um, this corner secured. And I can also probably at some point uh, align my walls up this way. So that I can put a uh, lumber mill or hunting camps there. Right. Right, farms researched. Let's get cottage. Got to get our cottage core on. Units under attack. My bow and arrows are ready. All right, don't hit me. Better be good. Attention. Building completed. Oh, more orders. What? The train okay. has arrived at the but station. It's going to cost you double. Yeah. You are going to pay me for this, right? A new task. All right, so this is the map's edge. Um, so there's no sense in going beyond this point because it will be un indefensible. <sighs> I'm going to wait for this Tesla coil, or tower, rather, to bit, and then put one slightly closer so I don't have any gaps in coverage. You again. Yes. I know that my current population is kind of like halted, uh, waiting for defenses to be built and better be good. Uh, yeah. And uh, perimeter to be secured. I could start breaking down this wall and building out to the eastern area, as that doesn't really pose any risk. It's pretty well fortified. Now, in three days, they do have a swarm coming, so I, I, I should prepare for that, but that's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be hitting me just yet. The layout of my tents is, like, horrible. I, I acknowledge it. Often what I do is, like, do my best to try to fit things in and then once I get uh, once I get the market in then I like go back and paint over everything to try to like fix it and fill it in what's up 
any infected around. So this is the last of the research the wood uh, workshop can offer me. Technology research finished. And um, as long as I'm secure about like what tents are staying, I could upgrade them to cottages, but I'm not going to do that just yet because I'd rather use my resources to secure the area. Because we do have a swarm incoming and I don't have uh, I don't have a good perimeter at the moment. Come on, train. What? Also, the uh, the pathing around this area sucks. Like, I might just straight up delete that tent so it's a little bit easier to path through. You again? Because pathing matters. What? Yes, the train has arrived at the so station. Quick. Yes. Roger that. So, as I said, this is Map Edge. So, I will. Start securing this area. I might, uh, I'll probably uh, end up going beyond this, but for now, this is enough. And now, I'm finally at a point where uh, grabbing wood you would be helpful, because I'm out of it. Right. Uh, there was wood under that, but I guess it's gone. Whoops! Run! You are gonna pay me for this, right? You again. What? The walls are under attack. You are gonna pay me for this, right? What do you All want right. now? Alright, we have that secured. I not wasting my time. Now I just want to get, uh... This area sort of secured, which is a, a large swath to do in two days with the swarm coming, but... Yeah, whatever, I'll try. Cheers! Yeah, I can actually see the wood right here. I just can't pick it up. That's funny. A new task. T I L. Don't do that. You again. What? You again. Yes. This better be good. The train has arrived at the and there's another village of doom right up there. You are or just at this, least right? a house. There's also a food crate, Attention. wood crate. Okay. Building yes. This better be good. Let's go ahead and think about secured perimeter. What? So for now, I just want to slap down some walls so that I can survive next swarm. So and then I'll I'll make it better later when there's not uh, a, okay. a pending attack coming so soon. Our soldiers gotcha. are in trouble. What? You again. Let's see. Thirteen. Yeah, it's worth it. Do we know where the Doomtown is on this map? I don't. Yes. If you've played before, you might know, but I don't want to know. I don't want it spoiled. I've never played this map before. So keep it a secret for me. Uh, we're rather low on uh, power. Get another mill going. Attention. 
Better be good. Whatever you say. As long as you pay me. Another thing that we could do is if we put in a Great Ballista pretty close yeah. to where the uh, the you Dwelling of Doom is, we can use the Great Ballista to defend against as the Dwelling of Doom, pay. as it will, you know, to kill anything what? coming for it, including yeah. zombies spilling out of the Dwelling. So that's <laughs> not a, a terrible tactic. You are going to pay me for this, right? You order, you pay. It looks like I need one more oh, Tesla Tower, so I need a little bit more wood for that. Attention. Building completed. They are trying to break through. What? Yes. Our defenses are being attacked. Gotcha. Alright, uh, horde coming in from the west. It's probably coming in for the one spot I don't have coverage. If I was to guess. So why not just delete the walls between me and the horde? And I'll put a I'll put two great ballista here or one one great ballista out there and the one here to sort of cover this west cuz I don't know if it's coming this west or that west. This is a pretty short path, so my guess is it comes here. But another thing I could do is I can, um, I can, um, you know, all of my rangers can float, so wherever the, uh, the threat comes in, they're ready to sort of redeploy. And I have eight hours to prepare. They are attacking the colony defenses. Oh, rude. Go away. All right, come on, tower. Dun dun dun. Let's go. Right, that's a weird shaped wall, but it will work. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Okay. Great. Great idea. And I'll just have my. I know that there's no archers on these towers. So I'll send you one archer back for right? now. I'm obviously going to need more manpower back there. And here is the, on the minimap, here's where the swarm's coming in. And it looks like they're headed southbound. So I think I made the right choice. And I'm going to move my archers to the walls. Uh, the other thing I could do right before is like double up my gate. Gates are the weakest. And then like double up some walls behind. Because once the zombies are on top of me, um, it will be too late to add any walls because you can't build when the infection infected are close. And I'm gonna send my archers out gotcha. just to like. Oh no! Here they are. Here Okay, All right. let's do this. Go, go, Great. Ballista! The walls are under attack. Okay. No! Oh, uh, who died? Uh, I had an archer there. I don't... I... Oh, I know why. They were, um, hotkeyed to the same group. This group. So when I told them to attack to this spot, they went out the walls to go around. Which is obviously, uh, not what I wanted them to do, but oh well. My bow and arrows are ready. Our defenses are being attacked. They are attacking the colony defenses. So I might lose some of the walls, but uh, but the swarms are pretty manageable size. The the archers will deal with it. I'm not all that concerned. Before the tower gets swarmed, I'm just going to have the archers bail out of it. And that's it. There's that swarm done. So they broke some holes, but like, no, not a big deal. Okay, these archers. Let's go up to the dwelling. 
And then to join the dwelling, I will, uh, I'll stick, uh, another ballista. Oh, they're gonna go this yeah. way. Uh, let's see about going around the map, because I haven't actually checked this side out. What? My bow oh. and arrows are Here we go again. What? Oh, more orders. Uh, looks like another dwelling over here. I can see the green of it. Our defenses are being attacked. There's also batteries. Nice. I'm gonna go snake the batteries. Sounds interesting. It could be worse. Great. And then run back. What? Free power is always the best power. So this is a tavern of doom. So it doesn't look like there's a centralized village. It's just like the separate buildings kind of strewn about. The train has arrived at the station. Uh, the next thing I really need to do is to focus on population gain. And also possibly farming. So I would like to add this area so that I can farm here and then possibly put a warehouse there to in increase the efficacy of the farm. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to round up all of these zombies and they're going to chase me back to my wall. I'm going to clear out the area around the Tavern of Doom and then I'm going to work on killing the Tavern of Doom. Great. Because that's guarding the farm area. Because I'm gonna run out of uh, I'm gonna run out of food sooner or later once I uh, continue expanding. And I just want to shove as many uh, buildings as I can around this market as possible. Just stack it all in. What? You are gonna pay me for this, right? <laughs> Yes. Yep, there's gold over there too, right there. You can already see the um, great ballistas starting to put in some work. Attention, building completed. Now, is there anywhere I can add food outside of doing a farm? This is not a bad farm spot either. This is fertile ground if I could secure it. So here's uh, the way farms work. They farm in a region, uh, depending on the, the fertility of the soil. So some farms suck, some farms are amazing. So 64 is pretty much the most I, uh, that I'm going to be able to get out of the initial farms. So once I secure this area, I can start farming this spot because it's outside of the range of the market, um, but it is highly fertile. No, I'm just kidding. But this uh, Tavern of Doom needs to die first, I think. My bow and arrows are ready. Oh, here we go again. What? I hope you're not wasting my time. Right? There, here we go. Tavern end. time. Our forces are in danger. You oh. hold that the plan. All right, I got uh, maybe four fifths of it. Great. Are you sure? And this is a campaign. Yeah, this uh, it's above my head. The uh, campaign mission I'm, I'm working on. Pay me for this, right? Okay. Units under attack. Well, sounds interesting. It could be worse. Inter the train has you are arrived at the station. This, right? So I will start filling in this area with uh, Tesla Towers, oh, so that I can add again. farms there as soon as the area is safe. Task. Well, I didn't mean for that archer okay. to shoot that tavern. You, you kind of want to just like do burst damage to the taverns. Because if you, as I, I, as I mentioned before, if you, if you trickle damage them, it will just take much longer and be a lot more frustrating. I'm also going to purposely bust open a, uh, in fact, let's bust all this. I'll get ahead of myself. What? You again. And uh, give the zombies a chance to succeed where they won't. All right, so there goes the tavern. It's gone. A lot of gold there. Um, one thing I'm doing wrong, I will just call myself out on, is uh, right now I'm sitting on a lot of resources, but I'm not using the resources. And that's like bad, bad form. Uh, if you have money, if, you, if you're maxed out, what? there's nowhere for the extra to go, yeah. and you you really ought to be spending it because if you're just sitting on it, you're it's not making money for you. You're not progressing or or whatever. So, um, so let's start investing it. 
I'm gonna put a farm here. And I'll probably put another farm there and another farm there once it's secured. And then also, yeah, I could get a warehouse. I'll put a warehouse probably there-ish. Uh, the other thing I should do is... Once this area is secure, lock it down here. Okay, let's do this. Because that's like a choke point-ish. Oh god, I don't have room for this money! Oh, that money just got destroyed. My bow and arrows are ready. So first I'm going to uh, I'll leave a token group patrolling the western edge and then send this these archers to destroy this tavern. It's just a single tavern. It's not going to be that hard to kill. Our soldiers are in trouble. Yes. Gone. Attention. Building completed. It dropped a lot of resources around it, though, which is nice. Um. All right, let's spend that uh, farming money. Oh, this is so ugly. I acknowledge it, but I'm not fixing it. So I think this is the upper... Yep, that's the upper corner. Uh, maybe I move this... coil... somewhere that it won't get... So things blacked out briefly, because this one's out of range of any um, active coils, so. Let me try to adjust things so that they fit more nice Django-wise. So briefly, I'll have some shortages while I work out uh, spacing of things. Rhino okay, soldiers? Um, do this. Oh. Soldiers are good at, uh, at sh they're better at shooting than rangers, but like, they're louder, and therefore they're best used stationarily, and if we're talking what's ideal for stationary, ballistas are so much better than both, so I don't usually use soldiers. They have their place, but like I just don't use them. So these are disabled, but they should be moved into soon because I have access to the power there. Good. All right, game says I need another farm. And then, as soon as I get a little, a few more workers, I'll put a warehouse uh, to benefit these farms. So warehouses not only increase your um, your max capacity of uh, stuff, they also will increase the efficiency of the things that they that in their sphere of influence, as you will uh, soon see. This northern pass is secured enough. Let's go ahead and stick a wall here. And there we go. I, I do see that there's resources there, I just don't need them at the moment, so I'm leaving them. Thank you for tuning in to They Are Billions, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 29th as part of a miniseries marathon. Because this was part of a miniseries marathon, feedback cannot be incorporated.
so there's no need to include it in the comments. But if you have any questions, you may feel free to include those instead. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord and become more involved, a link to that can be found in the description of this video or at Rodamont.com as well. If you would like to support me more directly as a content creator, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing this content with your friends, or even perhaps becoming a Patreon patron. Link can be found below. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow survivors of the apocalypse.